Greetings, pen pals. Here's something that I don't think you've ever heard me say on this channel. Take a look at the really nice acrylic on this Jin Hao pen. So I've reviewed quite a few Jin Hao pens, um, and I have quite a few of them. They One thing that they have not really had up until now is what I would call really nice acrylic pens. Most of the pens are not acrylic, and the ones that are don't really have particularly memorable acrylic uh, finishes, but this one is particularly nice. This is the Jin Hao model. 200. I think it comes in about two or three finishes. There's, this one is what they refer to as an amber finish. It's got um, ambers, maroons, yellows, greens in here. It's just a really, really uh, some nice brown here. It's really a quite a nice uh, uh, finish uh, and really nice material. Um, not quite uh, up to say pen BBS standards of material by any means, but it is still a pretty, pretty nice, um, uh, nice uh, pen. Um, so uh, let's uh, do a uh, couple of size comparisons to see uh, how this pen stacks up size-wise against uh, some other pens. So here's our traditional size comparison against a Pilot Metropolitan and a Lamy Safari. And as you can see, it's pretty much spot on size-wise um, with, uh, with these very popular pens. In this case, we're talking about a cigar-shaped pen. It's widest uh, right at the end of the cap, and then it tapers down at the top of the cap and tapers down uh, to a point at the end. Not a uh, particularly heavy pen, it's mostly acrylic, weighs in at 22 grams. You're probably wondering if we can compare this to some other Jin Hao pens, and we certainly can. Okay, so here is our Jin Hao 200. It is pretty much the exact same size as this pen, which is the extremely popular and very inexpensive Jin Hao 992. It's a bit shorter than uh, this X750, also quite a bit lighter. This X750 is an all metal pen, quite heavy. Um, it's also a bit smaller than this model 8812. This is a primarily wooden, um, wooden bodied pen. The big, uh, the big kahuna among Jin Hao pens, uh, size wise and weight wise, is the 159, which is essentially meant to be their uh, Mont Blanc 149 knockoff. I mean, not really much of a knockoff. It's, it is the same size and shape, but beyond that, they have nothing in common. But um, at any rate, the Jin Hao 159, which is longer and girthier and heavier as well. Um, my, maybe my favorite Jin Hao pen is one I reviewed a little while ago, which was the Jin Hao Centennial, which is this pen um, right here. It comes in right about the same size as the Centennial. Also a primarily acrylic pen, but it just sort of has a much more uh, premium build quality than any of these other Jin Hao's, including the one we're talking about today. Although this is a pretty nice pen, as we'll see as we continue. All right, so as you can see, very little in the way of hardware on this pen. The only metal part that's visible really is the clip itself. And speaking about the clip, it's a really nice functional clip, kind of retro styling, reminded me of another clip. And that clip, it reminds me of, it's, it's really almost the exact same uh, size and style clip as on this Caveco student. So we're talking about it really almost uh, 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 an identical clip. Of course, one says Caveco on it and the other uh, has the Jin Hao logo, but the size, shape, um, general d uh, theme and decor, etc., is really almost the identical clip as on the Caveco student. So nice, nice clip kind of um, uh, retro looking and uh, quite nice. And again, like I said, we're talking about a cigar shaped pen. It is a screw to uncap pen. It takes two full turns to, uh, to unscrew. Um, and like we said, so the top and bottom are both rounded uh, uh, ends, uh, no finials or anything like that. Uh, personally, I think this is too short to post. It is usable unposted, but again, I am a poster and I do like to post it. It does post quite securely. Um, like most Jin Hao pens, you will find a plastic cap liner at the end here, and I will say it is effective in keeping uh, the pen uh, from drying out. It does work quite, quite well. Um, here's the part. only downside for some people. Well, there's really two downsides. One, it's a number five nib. Obviously, a number six nib would almost always be preferable. Um, it does have a smooth metal section, which is a which is a show um, a, a showstopper for a lot of people. Uh, most people, some people, just can't deal with the non grippiness of a, a smooth metal section like this. Be that as it may, that is what uh, we have. One nice thing is this step down in these threads are 
barely noticeable. You can't even feel them at all. So you really can grip this pen anywhere, including right on top of the threads, even if that's really what you wanted to. So it is a smooth metal section. So that is something that uh, uh, that might be a downside for a lot of people. The nib itself, it's a standard Jin Hao number no. five nib. It has the Jin Hao chariot logo and an F for fine and says Jin Hao and has a little bit of scroll work. Um, again, number six nib would have been nicer. The Jinhao number six nib is a great, great nib. Number five nib is a pretty good nib, but the number six nib is, especially for the money, might be the, one of the best nibs for the money out there. Great, great nib. Um, again, no, number five nib is no slouch, but I'm really a big fan of the Jinhao number six nib. And of course, it has an uninspiring plastic. Uh, feed. As you could imagine, this pen is cartridge converter, and given that we're dealing with a all metal section and metal piece here, we're not going to be eyedropping this pen anytime soon. The converter is included, and it's your basic Jin Hao converter, but it is a very, very nice converter. It's um, metal, plastic, and all that, and these work quite, quite well, these Jin, uh, uh, garden variety Jin Hao uh, converters. Um, and again, to me, the main appeal of this pen is just this extraordinarily nice acrylic, which is quite unusual for Jin Hao uh, pens because they typically are not renowned for acrylic pens much at all. And when, you know, certainly nothing of this caliber. Again, we're not talking about like pen BBS grade uh, uh, amazing acrylic, but this is still a pretty nice acrylic. Um, really really like it uh really like it uh really like it quite a bit um well i think that is pretty much our walkthrough of the parts of this pen um, but of course pens were meant to write and i know you want to see this pen right and i'm going to show you that right now okay folks as we said we're writing with a Jin Hao model 200 and this has a steel nib in fine. And this is, uh, this is really smooth. Um, I'd say it's definitely above average in wetness. Um, quite, quite nice. Um, um, there's not, this is not a flex nib by any means. So you're not really going to get any kind of line variation here, but it's not really intended for that reverse writing is actually not bad um, and that I will say takes it to a double X fine um, and it's actually n not all that scratchy and it flows halfway decently um, so not bad at all all in all a pretty good nib um, if I do say so myself um, and I will um, but Again, I would have really preferred a number six nib in here, but what are you going to do? Again, for a number five, again, the Jin Hao nibs are, are, as I've said before, quite good. Number six nib is nothing short of spectacular, and I would say the number five nib, I always categorize that just kind of a notch or two below. Um, but again, you, n I, I seldom to ever had problems with uh, Jin Hao nibs. They always have uh, good flow, etc. So, um, we're talking a pretty, pretty nice... Um, uh, writing uh, pen all in all. Um, speaking of nice, something that would be really, really nice is if all you folks out there could please like, comment, share, and subscribe. That would just be outstanding and much appreciated. But like we said, great, great pen. Um, I, th I would say the, the real selling points of this pen are the really pretty acrylic, the very, very nice nib. Don't want to sell this nib short, very nice nib. Shortcomings are the fact that the nib is at number five, not number six, but the biggest shortcoming for some people, for sure, is going to be this smooth metal section. Uh, unfortunately, uh, for some of you, that will be a deal breaker, which is unfortunate because this is otherwise a very, very nice uh, nice uh, pen. Um, I say that's about it for this pen for today, but let's talk about this ink for a few minutes now, shall we? Okay, this ink is Diamine. Tobacco 
sunburst. Um, this ink is part of a series from Diamine um, with the finishes of Gibson guitars. So there's, I think, five or so, and I think this might be the, I, I have all five, I think I might be the third of the fifth that I reviewed. There's Honey Burst, there's Tobacco Sun Burst, there's Cherry Burst, there's Pelham Blue, I forgot what the fifth one is, but there's a whole set, so I'll definitely get working my way through the whole set uh, over over time. But uh, these are finishes of Gibson guitars that uh, Diamond's collaborating with Gibson to come out with these um, with these inks, and they're all uh, quite nice. Um, and I could you could definitely imagine a Gibson guitar with uh, with this um, with this finish. So this is. Um, this is Diamond Tobacco uh, Tobacco Sunburst. Nice, nice brown ink, um, and very, very pleasant. Um, get a little bit of shading and variation there, but all in all, just a pretty, uh, pretty ink. Uh, and I think it complements this pen quite well. Um, and um, I like it. That's what it looks like on this Rhodia paper. Let's take a quick look at what it looks like on Tomoe River paper. Okay, so as we said, this ink is Diamine. Tobacco. Sunburst. And again, pretty, pretty ink. Quite, quite nice. Definitely, you get, you get a little bit of shading of variation nice shade of brown definitely evocative of tobacco i would definitely say that you're definitely getting that vibe off of it as well but a quite a nice ink um, and diamond seldom disappoints me and they certainly haven't uh, this time so i think that will just about do it for this video for today as always i hope you enjoyed it because i sure enjoyed making it and as always until we see each other again, have a great day. Bye-bye.